What is up, people of the internet? Today, we're changing gears a little bit from cryptocurrency over to the blockchain world. And we're talking about how blockchain can revolutionize the wine industry. So go ahead and grab a glass of wine, unless you're under the legal drinking age, wherever you are, and let's hash it out. But before we get started, guys, I want to briefly give a shout out to one of my professors at Virginia Tech in Southern Virginia. He is starting a wine lab, and it's gonna be called the Blacksburg Wine Lab. And what this is going to be is it's going to be a meeting place for people on campus and people in the neighboring areas to all meet and learn about wine, drink delicious wine, and really just have fun. Uh, this is an educational space, but also a not so traditional restaurant and bar. So please do check out the Kickstarter link below. That professor, John Boyer, is a fantastic guy. He's a lot of fun and he does a lot for the students on campus. So please do check that out and consider donating. If you are interested, they've got some really cool rewards. So you may be wondering, how can blockchain change the way we do business in the wine industry? Well, I almost spilled my wine just now. Well, actually it's quite simple. To be honest with you, blockchain is so valuable for a few different things. Record keeping, the exchange of value, and even keeping multiple different parties honest. And I'd like to hone in on the last part. And because of the enhanced record keeping ability of blockchain creating an immutable record, or meaning a record of events that can't be changed by anyone, it's permanent, means that the parties involved are held accountable for their actions. Now there's actually a project in the real world, I wouldn't say it's in production, but it's a real world example of how this is done in the wine industry by the company Everledger. Now Everledger actually partnered with a famous wine counterfeiting specialist. Yes, that is a real job and this woman is a complete badass. Her name is Maureen Downey and she actually helped catch one of the most profound wine counterfeiters in all of history. The fine wine market has long since been a hotbed for counterfeiting and there have been so many instances where we've seen fine wines, wines that would sell for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to collectors are being faked and forged because anytime that there's a valuable product, there are going to be counterfeiters out there who try and fake it and sell it to collectors who have no way of verifying its authenticity. So that's where experts like Maureen Downey come in because they are masters of labeling the glass, the bottle shape, the color of the wine, all sorts of amazing things that she can test herself can lead her to tell whether or not the fine wine that's being sold is legitimate or not legitimate, whether it's counterfeit or not counterfeit. So obviously a blockchain startup like Everledger could take that information and that ability that Maureen has to determine if a wine is counterfeit or not and use the blockchain to track that information and record events and to tokenize, as we like to call it, these wines so that when a collector wants to buy a wine that Maureen has said is not counterfeit, they have a record that says Maureen has guaranteed you that this is not a counterfeit wine. Everledger basically created a digitized version of Maureen's system, the Chai Method. And they took high definition photos of 360 around the bottle. They have records related to ownership and storage of the wine in question. They have supply chain data if possible and all of that's stored on the blockchain ledger. And so what this does is it creates a tokenization of that bottle of wine. So when a collector wishes to buy that bottle of wine, they can reach out to the Everledger blockchain for wine collectors and find out whether or not the wine is in fact legitimate or if it is not on there, they can probably assume it's either counterfeit or it needs to be looked at by an expert. Now, obviously this is an intermediate solution. It's not the end all be all. This is an example of a real company, a real world company who is using the blockchain to help save collectors money and to help beat counterfeiting just by creating a central source of truth related to really expensive bottles of wine. Now this is a really kind of cheap wine because I don't have that kind of money, but you know, to each their own.
Whew. Sorry guys, I had to change into something a little cooler because it's super hot in my apartment. Terrible. But as I was saying, there's so much amazing stuff happening in the market with blockchain in the wine industry. And another project that I'm actually super, super stoked about is a project called My Story by VeChain. And I'm sure you guys have heard VeChain in the news about various partnerships, one even with BMW. And this one is actually with for huge Italian winemakers. And I will show you those on the screen right now. And these winemakers are using VeChain's platform called My Story to create a more verifiable product view for their customers. And what I mean by that is, is that on this platform, customers can really easily verify if the product that they're buying is, the, is a legitimate product sold by the winemaker that they intended to buy from. So obviously it's combating the same problem that we talked about earlier, which is counterfeiting. And this issue is going to continue to get harder and harder and harder to solve as the technology that enables counterfeiters gets better and better. You have people counterfeiting all sorts of stuff, not just wine. And this technology here in blockchain is one way that we can combat that. VeChain is partnering with huge winemakers. This is not a small, tiny little fringe pilot. This seems to be a real deal pilot and these winemakers seem to be serious about it. So it's really good news for the adoption of blockchain technology in the wine industry. Now guys, I recommend you stay abreast of some of the awesome news about blockchain impacting different industries, especially the wine industry. And please do not forget to check out the links in the description below to check out the wine lab in Blacksburg, Virginia. John Boyer is a great guy and he definitely deserves even $5. If you have $5, just shoot him a quick donation to help his dreams come true and help him help awesome students of Virginia Tech. Thank you guys very much. Cheers. Oh